Hey y'all, Kent back here, um, taking a moment to uh, build a little tooling. So I did a, a post poof, ways back called Making Making, where I said that the that the real, uh, the, the most effective makers that I've ever worked with also spent time on their process. So this is the kind of thing that I do all the time in imitation of what they seem to do naturally. So uh, we're doing TCR and the question is how can we have a, a little bit of a TCR tool? What's the absolute minimum we can, uh, we can do and have a tool that supports the workflow? Um, so I want to be, I want to say assert true and then this commits something and then I want to say assert false and then save it and this immediately reverts it. All right, so the um, Emerald Walk uh, has a nice plugin called Run on Save, which lets you, uh, for a given file, run a, a certain command. And uh, that's what we'll use to build our little prototype uh, TCR tool. Now, do we want a real TCR plugin and native TCR support? Sure, but I want something that I can work with today. So uh, the first thing to do is uh, this will run our Python file. Um, and now uh, I'm not quite sure how I can get feedback, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I know this is gonna work. Ha, ha. famous last words. Um, so if this works, then we want to do git commit dash am working, whatever we're going to call it. But something I discovered in building this, we also need to do uh, uh, for the git command to work, uh, we need to uh, cd to a workspace root, which has to be in curly braces. Shift curly braces. I said curly braces. Um, there. And now every time this passes, we should get a, a commit. So we'll get immediate feedback from VS Code because this uh, line will change because we're going to automatically commit this. Boom, and there it is. So that part is working. And now we need the revert part. So we need to say, or a get reset dash dash hard. And this is all, you know, this only works for a single file and it only works for Python and it doesn't have a testing framework and whatever, but there's a big difference between having it at all and not having it all. So I wanted to get to having it at all before I did anything else. Uh, so now if I say false here, it should go back to the previous version, poof. And there we have it. That's the uh, that's the basic feedback loop. Now, uh, uh, something I noticed uh, as I uh, coded was that I wanted to see some feedback from inside. Um, if, if I got uh, so if I printed out ABC here, I wanted to be able to see this ABC someplace. So if I'm if I'm halfway through computing and I have some partial results, I want to be able to look at those. So to do that, I'm going to redirect the output of the Python command to uh, tilde slash uh, tcr feedback, just some file. And now, if I uh, if I run this again, now I should be able to uh, open, and it'll be should be in here. Uh, oh. Wait a minute, it'll be in recent, won't it? Yes, it will. Open recent to TCR feedback. I, I was practicing. So there it is. And if we change a ABCDEF, then that's going to print out ABCDEF. So I'm going to split the screen. And now here, if I change this, GHI, oops. Boom. So sub second to get the feedback. 
Now, what happens if we throw an exception here? It doesn't actually show up here. What we need is one little more piece of Unixy stuff. Uh, so we want two standard error to get redirected to the same place as standard out gets redirected to. And now, if I divide one by zero, I see the feedback there. And there you have it. That is the minimalist uh, IDE TCR support that I could uh, figure out. So give this a try. Um, if you have refinements or if you build a real TCR plugin, which is going to be more work, but it'll give you more functionality, uh, uh, let me know if you have refinements of this simplistic approach. Let me know and uh, good luck. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.